Hello guys, this is H, and welcome to Mob Science. This is going to be the series where I teach you guys everything I know about mobs. And uh, basically, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys from start to finish how every mob spawn, die, and you know, their AI, their pathfinding, how they will try to get to a player, and how you could use that in some kind of mob system, mob farm, or mob sorter. Uh, and the different things you could do with mobs. So today we're going to start off with the very basic, uh, the start of the mobs, basically how they spawn. Now I've split them into three different groups based on how they spawn here. Uh, the stone brick is for a spider. The brick is for a enderman and the stone slabs are the skeletons, the zombies, and the creepers. Over here I have a little uh, informational board about how each mob will spawn. The blue wool here is for zombies, skellies, and creepers. They will spawn in a too high area. The spiders, or the brown wool, are uh, going to spawn in a too high area as well, which is quite interesting. But you can let them spawn if you just have a one high area with a transparent block above. They can also spawn in a one by one area like this. Uh, of course, too high or transparent block above, you can choose either one. And what's interesting is that all, uh, they will check the 3x3 three three area around them. Not these brown block, but the black blocks here. They will check these blocks to see if there are any blocks obstructing their spawning. Uh, that means you can make a spider-proof spawning pad by just putting one slab in the middle of a 3x3 three three pad. Uh, the reason for this is because spiders, when they try to place a spider here, it's going to look at the 3x3 three three area around and they're going to see this slab here is obstructing it from spawning. The same for here, and they'll just keep checking and they'll see that there is no space for a spider to spawn. So they'll put a um, mob like creeper or something like that instead. Now the last one is the enderman. Uh, they will just spawn it in a 3 high area. And these are the requirements that all three of them will need. The difficulty need to be above peaceful. And the light level need to be below 8. And they need to be spawning on a solid block. Over here, I have examples of solid blocks and transparent blocks. Uh, it's pretty interesting how it all works because these two here are just upside down half slab and help upside down stair. Uh, which you can see here are considered transparent blocks. So, mobs can actually spawn on them if you put them backward, uh, upside down. These are fences, glass, and glass panes, stuff like that. These are just common blocks. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you guys how mob spawning work. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys a few uses for, um, you know, making a mob farm and stuff like that. Alright, from what we learned from this episode, we can make different mob spawning pads like these. This is a no spider spawning pad and this is a spider only spawning pad. Uh, the first one is quite simple. This is just the 3x3 three three pads I showed you earlier uh, and how the spider check is you know going around like this but if you put four of them next to each other even though there's a 2x2 two two area in the middle like this spiders still have to check in a 3x3 three three area and each of these blocks will still have a slab obstructing them. Uh, and this, these blocks don't even need to be slabs because a uh, spider can't st uh, spawn on top of here either. There is a solid block up here, as you know. Spider only spawn in a too high area or an area uh, one high but has transparent block above. So yeah, that's that could be. Um, uh, that's why this spawning pad doesn't have any spider spawning on it and the reason people use slabs is because it saved material because slab is uh, you can make three slab out of three blocks uh, no wait, six slab out of three uh, block so yeah that's how you can make a spider proof spawning pad and over here is a spider spawning pad spider only um, enderman the only way you can make them uh, make sure that only enderman spawn is to build an enderman farm in the end. 
because that's the only mob that will ever spawn in the end other than the ender dragon which is only appearing when you first enter the end so that's pretty much it for this first episode of mob science i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and learned something from it uh, if you guys have any feedback please leave it down in the comment below other than that thank you guys for watching you can download this world in the link in the description and i will see you guys next time